Good morning guys! Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video I'm going to be talking about my favorites and flops for the month of June. So lots of stuff to talk about. I'm just gonna start. <laughs> this is the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. I use the shade Light Medium and I first heard about this from Danny on Coffee Break with Danny. She's so funny. She's always talking about her panda eyes and I'm like, girl, look at me. <laughs> but this stuff is awesome. A little bit goes a long way. One, because it's pigmented. Two, because it's very thick. However, the formula is very hydrating. So if you're anything like me, I have drier skin underneath my eyes and along the sides of my nose, this shouldn't be a problem. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look thick. It doesn't look drying. This this is awesome. It does settle into my fine lines, which I mean, anything I've ever put under my eyes will. It has and it will. Um, so, I mean, that's just something that I have to live with. Whether I set it or not, it's going to end up in there eventually, so it doesn't matter. Um, there was other something else I wanted to mention about this. Oh, it doesn't completely cancel out my dark circles. Nothing I have ever tried, whether it's concealer or color corrector, nothing has ever completely erased my dark circles. So, I will say that, but this is the closest that I have tried. I've tried the Pixie brightening peach corrector i've tried the fiona styles um peach corrector and this is the best that i've tried this is the fiona styles light illusion perfecting and brightening stilo in apricot this is a click pen i'm not gonna click it but it's a click pen which i mean it's easy to use because you can just swipe 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 but you never know when to stop clicking, so then you end up clicking out too much, and then that happens. I don't know if you can see, but it's all up in the cap, and ugh, so frustrating. But this is amazing. Contrary to the one I just spoke about, this is very thin in consistency, so it blends out like that. That was really crappy, but it blends out very easily, is what I was trying to say. <laughs> so I really enjoy using this, and I love the way that it brightens my face. Duh. So this is awesome. I have spoken about a lot of Fiona Styles products before, um, just because I think they're amazing. A lot of her products are some of my favorites to use, and I don't know why more people aren't speaking about her, but right now she has a lot of her stuff for 75% off at Ulta.com. I'm not sure about in-store, but on Ulta's website, um, definitely check them out. If there's something that you've been thinking about picking up, her artist eyeshadow quad in Canyon is amazing. Her mascaras, her um, radiant aqua eye veils, which I will speak about in a minute. Um, they're just awesome. So if you're curious, now would be the time, obviously. So next, this is the Muru Muru Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer from Physicians Formula. And you guys, I'm sure, have heard about this everywhere for good reason. I definitely do agree that it is well worth the hype it gets. Um, like I said, I use this, uh, this shade bronzer and I think this is amazing. It's so natural looking on the skin. I find that it's easy to work with. It's easy to build up. It's easy to blend out. I love the way that it looks against my skin. Like I said, it does have a bit of a sheen, which I find does translate on the skin, but I think it looks nice because it's more lifelike. I enjoy using this so much. The the design, I don't think you can tell, but the design is starting to wear down. So I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so exciting because I'm at a point in my life where I'm just, you know, I've realized I've hit a wall and I'm just like, you don't need everything, especially when it comes to makeup, because I will never be able to finish this stuff in my lifetime if I keep going at the rate I'm going. You don't need everything new and... I'm just I'm trying to use make use of what I already have so I've really been able to um, hone in on what I like what I dislike and this I definitely do like and I know that now because I've actually dedicated enough time to using this and it just makes me really happy. I've been pairing it with this Becca Mineral Blush in Wild Honey, and this is very pigmented, so use a light hand. Um, but what I've been doing, I've really been enjoying pairing the two because I will put this on the um, apples of my cheeks and blend it backward into my 
bronzer and I find that it creates somewhat of a monochromatic look, you know, that bronze tan look um, that's perfect for this time of the year and I really enjoy it because it looks natural, it looks, um, you know, like you've sort of been out in the sun and I, I just, I love the way that it looks. Um, I prefer it more for this time of the year as opposed to, you know, in the spring where I'll put bronzer but then I'll put like a bright pink as my pop on the cheeks. Um, but these two, I've been enjoying together, like I said, for summertime. This is the Anastasia Chocolate Brow Powder Duo. And I find this so simple, so easy, so quick to work with. It's difficult for me, what, it doesn't matter what I'm using, if it's a pencil, if it's a pomade, if it's powder, you know, I have to be more careful because if I'm filling in my brows, I can very easily get too heavy handed. And then my, my brows end up looking unnatural, harsh, stark, and it's just, I don't like that look for me personally. Um, with this powder though, I find that it's easier for me to um, fill in my brows without making it look, like I said, unnatural, harsh, stark, uh, because the formula is lighter. It's not a pomade. It's not a pencil. But I find that it is very, very easy to um, fill in. I'll just take my flat eyeliner brush from Eco Tools, dip into both sides and then brush it through and literally I can do both brows in like 30 seconds and then I'll just set it with brow gel of course. But this is awesome. I love this thing and it's because it's a powder and I'm only using it on a very small area of my face, it's gonna last me for it. This was a disappointment. <laughs> this is the Maybelline New York Color Show eyeshadow single in 02 Stripped Nude. And that's what she looks like. I let me just give you a swatch here. You can see it. It looks a little ashy. I'm, I don't know if that's coming across camera, but I thought it would be nice for a transition shade or a nice um, all over the lid shade, sort of like a one and done look that I could put all over the lid and blend up into the owl crease. And it just disappears. It's the most bizarre thing. And it's funny because I remember Jessica Braun. Um, talking about, oh, I don't remember, she said that the, the eyeshadow did the same thing to her, like she just put it on and it just disappeared and it was so bizarre and then I was like, how is that even possible? And it happened to me with this! So I was, I was just like, I don't know, just the strangest thing. So unfortunately, this was a fail. Um, I did find this at a lot less, which is a closeout store near me. I'm not sure if it's everywhere, but yeah, if you see this, stay away. <laughs> This is what I was mentioning be, uh, before. This is the Fiona Styles uh, Radiant Aqua Eye Veil, and this is in the shade Outpost. And this is just a, I don't know what you, cream, liquid, mousse, eyeshadow. I don't know what, you, what kind of um, texture you want to classify it as, but um, that's what it looks like. And it's this a beautiful satin taupe color, and I love this stuff. I have... Arrow and Hudson. Arrow is a metallic rust. Oh, sorry, it's a metallic bronze. And Hudson is a metallic rust. But this is the one I've been using um, the most in the month of June because it's a very quick, um, you know, simple, easy, one and done shadow look, which is really what I've been going to lately because I've been lazy. Um, <laughs> but this is amazing. And the story that I had to tell you. I posted a picture on Instagram, and if you're not following me, check me out. It's at Christina the Pina. And I posted a picture of the three shades I own with swatches on my hand. And Fiona Styles, not Fiona Styles Beauty, Fiona Styles. She commented and she said that she was so happy that I loved the, her product, and this was actually her favorite, not necessarily the shade but the line of Radiant Aqua Eye Veils is her favorite product that she's released thus far. Uh, she also mentioned that she spent so much time and effort trying to perfect this formula in the lab and I think it was well worth it. I think she did an amazing job because this is, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's witchcraft. Um, you can put this on, let it set, and it will not budge. You can rub and rub and rub your eyes. It will not budge but you can just put a little bit of water on a cotton pad or a towel or something like that and one swipe removes almost everything it's it comes off so easily it's so crazy 
um, with water. <laughs> but it's it's so cool. She also said that she loves to use outposts to create soft depth in or on the eye. And I was like, oh my god, that's so cool because that's how I use it. So I love this stuff. There's also a picture of me with this on. Um, it's mentioned in the, I don't know how to put photos on um, the screen like other people. I'm not very tech savvy. Um, so just check me out on Instagram and you'll see the photo. It's in the comments or the um, captions. So, but this is freaking amazing. Fiona Styles, you did an amazing, amazing job. You guys, I'm telling you, check her out on Ulta. She's got some great stuff. Not sponsored. <laughs> this could be a favorite too. This is my little um, Frida Kahlo mug and I got this in Puerto Vallarta. We went to Mexico back in April and I got this at the airport and I love it because it is, I don't know what that is, tin, metal, aluminum, but it's awesome because if I drop it, the drink will spill if it's full, but it's not going to break. So I don't ever have to worry about this. I love it. Except I can't microwave it. So I have to put my tea in a different mug and then put it in here if I really want to use this, but which I always want to use it. But anyway. This is the Naked Heat Palette by Urban Decay, and I have been loving this. They have finally released a naked palette that actually appealed to me. Um, naked 1, 2, 3, Smoky. I just, I, I've always wanted a naked palette because it's a cold classic here on YouTube and in the beauty community, but I didn't want to force myself to buy one that I truly wasn't drawn to just for the sake of having one. This, however, this spoke to me. And Johnny got this for me for my birthday, which will be coming up soon, but he got it early because he knew that I wanted to review it for you guys. So thank you very, very much. I have been loving it. I don't want to say too much because I am going to film a dedicated video. Um, I mean, there are tons out there already, but I'm still going to do it because I said I would. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Pressed Powder, and I've spoken about this before. It is no longer pressed. It has seen better days, but I love this. It, ugh, I love the finish. It's not matte. It's not dewy. It just looks natural. It looks like skin. And I think this is amazing. It's great um, to set your uh, foundation with, and it's just, it's lightweight. It's inexpensive. This is awesome. So, Great job, Wet n Wild. This is one of my favorite products from their uh, Photo Focus line. Now, some hair care. This is the DPQ or Do Professional Renew uh, Shampoo and Conditioner with hibiscus, green tea, and shea butter. It claims to strengthen and rejuvenate. It is also sulfate free and color safe. So, this is the shampoo, this is the conditioner, and you guys, this leaves a crazy. It's weird. It's I don't know if it's the shampoo, the conditioner, or a combination of the two, but after washing my hair with this, every time it leaves this very thick, waxy film all over my scalp and in my roots. And if my head gets itchy and I scratch it, there will be buildup under my nails. It's gross. So I don't know what it is. Um, it's very strange. So pass. Unfortunately, this, however, this is the Kenra Clarifying Shampoo. This is awesome. I love this because it gets all the gunk out of my hair, all the dry shampoo, all the hairspray, all the... I mean, it's mostly dry shampoo because I don't really style my hair too often. I usually just save it for special occasions and even then I'm pretty lazy. Uh, but I love this because it gives me that really deep... <laughs> squeaky clean and then after I will go in oh by the way it is a transparent pink color and it smells like grapefruit it's so awesome but after I will go in with this Aussie three mirror three mirror <laughs> three minute miracle moist deep conditioner I love this stuff this is so inexpensive um this is just awesome I love the scent it smells like coconuts and the scent actually lingers in your hair for a few days so that is awesome as well but this leaves my hair feeling softer smoother I just I love this stuff this um this has been around so I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of it before it's pretty old but I always go back to it I love this stuff 
body wash more from Vita Bath. you guys I love this stuff this is their fruit fanatic pineapple sunset sulfate paraben and dye free body wash you guys this is awesome oh it smells so good it smells like candy pineapples it's sweet oh I love it um I will say that I use this purely for the scent it's just an enjoyable experience in the shower because it smells amazing the bubbles it creates I like a really bubbly soapy loofah and this does an amazing job it lathers well and the bubbles feel really soft on the skin. This is amazing stuff. I have uh, finished the cucumber white tea. I mentioned that in my empties last month. I mentioned that I was using this one. I do have another bottle currently in my shower and it's just awesome. I did recently purchase three more, three different scents, which I'll film in, I'll talk about more in a haul. Um, so subscribe and I don't know, what was I gonna say? Check me out, check it out, check your feed something along those lines just stay tuned guys there we go stay tuned um but this is so good i love this stuff it's amazing amazing uh amazing delicious so good these are awesome i also love the packaging i know i mean there's nothing there you know definitely no frills but that's what i love about it because if you're like me and i'm pretty sure you are you have like 20 other products taking up space in your tub so for this to be as sleek as it is it's nothing more than you need and i love the way it fits in my hand because i can just turn it over and squeeze some out it's not bulbous it's not oddly, oddly shaped it's not big and bulky so i don't have a hard time handling handling it in the shower but sorry charlie this is my plant uh charlie this is aloe vera and i named him charlie because i thought it was cute so yeah this is charlie but that's that. This is the Deeply Nourishing Sugar Scrub. It's in the scent Citrus and Ginger. It's by Askip and Somerset. I found this for maybe $6 at Marshall's. And it's lasted me a while because I only really use this if I'm going to self-tan. Oh, sorry, that was intense. But this, oh my goodness, this smells freaking amazing. If you enjoy the body shop this smells like the body shop it smells like the store like when you walk in actually not even when you walk in if you, if you're like 17 stores down you will still smell it. it is that strong but it's my favorite scent it's actually their satsuma scent which i finally figured out because i would always walk in there and i'm like oh my god it smells so good but i don't know what product is hitting me in the face like that it's satsuma and this smells exactly like it. It's sm it's what? It smells so good and it's so strong, but I love it. It to me smells like Pez. If you love Pez candy or you love the scent of it, I I love the scent of Pez candy. I love this the taste of it. It's just one of my favorite candies and I wish they were sold in bulk at a right aid so I could just buy it like without the dispenser. But any it's just so good and it's suspended in oil that makes my skin feel so soft so smooth and adds a little bit of a sheen so when i get out it's like you know it's like a little bit glowy it leaves a little glow it's like oh girl you know it's really really nice i love this stuff and i'm sad because it's i'm like halfway through it and like I said, I found this at Marshall's, so I did recently go there and I found the same product in a different scent, but it wasn't as good as this one, so I didn't purchase it. I also don't need it, but this is amazing. Again, I only really use this if I'm going to self-tan. This uh, Naked Skin Self-Tan, it is their Gradual Glow Daily Tan Moisturizer. This is freaking awesome. It's just like a regular moisturizer. It's like a white cream. Let me see if I can show you some. There we go. There's some in the cap, but you just put it on like a lotion and you don't, I mean, you don't really have to think about it. This is awesome. It's also inexpensive. I, you know, in my opinion for what it is, it's about $15 at Ulta and um, you can often find it on sale for like buy one, get one half. That's usually one I will pick up too, but 
I love this stuff. And it does have a scent, but it's very, very mild. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, if I'm not self-tanning, but I need to moisturize, I will go in with the original bath and body oil from Seabooth. I stopped using body lotions, body butters, because I found that using this body oil, it keeps me moisturized for the entire day and not just a few hours after I've applied it. By the, I, I could shower in the morning and then at the end of the day, I can sort of, you know, like touch myself and there's still a little bit of grip or grip that's weird tackiness to my skin and it's not sticky it's not greasy if you touch me i'm you know i'm not if i lean on you i'm not gonna leave a grease mark it's just it keeps me hydrated for a longer period of time and i appreciate that because i feel like it's just it just does a better job plus during the summertime if you are like me and a lot of other people you want to look glowing and this definitely does that obviously because it's an oil this big thing what is this like seven uh 16 ounces this is like seven dollars so this is awesome you can find it at rite aid you can find it at ulta and i mean it's so inexpensive for the amount that you get plus it's an oil so you don't need a lot this is going to last me a while and i highly highly recommend this I'm gonna time out because I don't want this thing to shut off. So one more time, forgive me. I will be back. Okay guys, I am back. My battery is fully charged, so we shouldn't have any more problems. Hopefully. Well, I mean, as long as I keep it under 12 minutes. But this is the Matrix Total Results 20 Miracle Creator. This was a bit of a disappointment, I will admit. Let me just read you the back. Hair multitasking treatment has 20 beautifying benefits for your hair. Leave-in for nourishment, I can't attest to that. Boosts shine, I don't know. Smooths, excuse me, smooths the cuticle, I, I don't know what that means. Helps prevent breakage from brushing, absolutely not. Adds moisture, not that I've noticed. Helps prevent heat damage, I I can't attest to that either. Helps fight frizz? No, but then again, my hair isn't really frizzy ever. Um, helps even out porosity. I, I don't know what that means either. Minimizes damage. I'm not a big hair person. I've, I've just recently started getting into hair care, so I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't understand all of this. I feel like they're overcomplicating hair um, unnecessarily. Minimizes damage. That's so vague. From what? Like, how? What in here is going to minimize damage? And what kind of damage are we talking about? That's, it's just such a vague claim. <sighs> Detangles. My hair is never tangly. Um, reduces dryness. It, is that not the same as adds moisture? I, I mean, <laughs> conditions lightly. Controls flyaways. Again, doesn't that sound similar to helps fight frizz <laughs> helps prevent split ends helps soften makes blow dry process easier helps correct roughness isn't help soften that that's the same thing helps soften helps correct roughness i'm guys what what is happening here helps shield against external aggressors what are you talking about do you mean helps prevent heat damage because you already said that um, improves manageability, primes hair for styling. What? Half of these things should be eliminated because they've already been said. I mean, and I don't even notice majority of these benefits on my hair. I mean, it could just be my hair. I mean, a lot of people do like this and that's exactly why I tried it, but to be honest, guys, this is a very hard pass. Just just walk away. And I hate to sound so negative. It's just that, honestly, things like this, I mean, 20 benefits. Miracle creator. You know, the claims are just so outlandish. A miracle? Are we curing the blind here? I mean, really. So I'm glad that I got this on sale. I didn't pay full price. I think this was like $9 during one of Ulta's amazing, amazing sales. Um, but I did buy two, thinking that I would love it. So that's unfortunate. Um, I'll give the other to my sister, because I'm not excited to use it. I'm almost done with this, and I will finish it up. But, I don't know, hopefully she'll enjoy it. I, I, 
not that I hated it, I just didn't, I don't think it's worth it. And I will also say this smells off. Maybe that's just the way it's supposed to smell because it's, I don't know, it's essentially a bunch of chemicals. Um, but yeah, it, it smells off. It smells like, like vanilla and melting plastic, something burning, something uh, melting, something on fire, I don't know, candle wax or, it's just weird. So just stay away. <laughs> and the last thing, um, at least skincare wise, this is the Derma E Hydrating Night Cream. Obviously this is a sample, but this is awesome. These, um, this is scented, but it's not strong. Um, so, I mean, I, I could deal with it. I'm not too sensitive to scents though, but this is, um, a, it's a very light scent, noticeable, but light, not overbearing or overpowering. Um, but I'm so glad that I found the, um, full size, three full sizes for $6 at Marshall's. And I stocked up because they had expiration dates out till 2020. So I'm, I'll be good, but I'm so, so excited because this stuff is great. And you can often find uh, Derma E on sale at Ulta, but if you can find products that you're looking for um, by this brand for much cheaper at Marshalls, um, I mean, I definitely recommend getting it there first. So what I'll do is I'll check Marshalls first, and then I'll go um, to Ulta whenever they have um, a sale on Derma E products. Derma E has a lot of amazing skincare products. I love their overnight, um, overnight peel with alpha hydroxy acids. I love their evenly radiant toner. It's, they, they have amazing, amazing, amazing skincare. And they're very highly rated on, um, well, a lot of their products are highly rated on Beautypedia, which is my primary source of information when it comes to taking care of my skin because I don't have a dermatologist. I've never seen one. So that's really my first stop. Um, I will go there first because I trust their opinion. I do believe they know what they're talking about. I definitely don't. And there's nobody else that I know um, who's as educated that I can trust. So Beautypedia, they're amazing. Polish Choice, um, the brand itself, they have amazing, amazing products. So I definitely recommend checking out that site because you will be surprised at, um, you know, a lot of the products out there that are very highly priced that actually hardly do anything for your skin, if anything at all. So just saying. Um, next, uh, two more. This is sort of, uh, more lifestyle. This is, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm getting tired. This is of yesteryear from Lauren Eden. And this is a book of poems and it is amazing. This, this will make you feel things you didn't know you were already feeling, if that makes sense. It's just Lauren Eden, I think she's amazing and she just tugs at my heartstrings. Like sometimes, and I'm not even lying, I'll read a page, I'll read a poem and I have to stop and, and put the book down for a sec because I'm like, oh. <gasps> it's, oh, she's amazing, really, truly. So that cut me off, but this is amazing. Again, check it out on Amazon. She's amazing. She's got an Instagram account as well. And uh, like, oh, oh, love it. That aside, this is La La Land. I know I'm so late to the party, but you guys, you have to watch this. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I didn't get to see it while it was in theater. So that made me really sad, but Johnny came home with it because he knew how badly I wanted to see it and it was such a nice surprise we watched it together he liked it as well I don't want to spoil it so I'm not going to say much um it's fun it's entertaining it's cute it's funny it's sad um yeah I don't want to say much but I want to watch it again but I'm still not over the sadness from my initial viewing so I don't want to watch it again but I will eventually once I get over it and then I'll be heartbroken all over again. But it is awesome. So I definitely think it was worth all of the Oscars it got. And oh my God. Just watch it. Come here. Say hi. Hi. Ah! Stop it. What are you eating? You have food on.
on your face, huh? Mm, I love you. Give me a kiss. Give me. He's rude. He's not very affectionate. But um, that was it. Those were my favorites for, or oh, favorites and flops for the month of June. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, stick around, stay tuned for more. And let me know in the comments what you guys have been loving in the month of June. Maybe it's something that I will try. Also follow me on Instagram at Christina the Pina. I share a lot of stuff there, indies there. I'm there, obviously. Makeup, books, travel, and yeah. I hope you guys will stick around. Thank you so much for watching again, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye! Are you serious? But you can remove them so easily with water. Just a little water on a cotton pad and a wet towel. Water on a wet towel, obviously. Um, come on say too much about it because I am going to film a dedicated video although that may be shouting into the vo- uh, the like what do you call it shouting into the vo- shouting into the what shouting into the wind I don't know